Okay, let's talk about stability. Are we stable? <laughs> How many of you have been to the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Any of you? Were they letting tourists up in the tower when you went? Okay. Uh, when I went there, I was eight years old. I was terrified of the tower. It didn't seem stable. Um, and fortunately, my father was just way too cheap to take us kids up there. But suppose that an entrepreneur came along and said, you know, we could make more money with this thing if we just made more room for more tourists. So let's just build it up one more story. And it goes unstable. Now, if you take a standard high rise and you build it up one story, it doesn't fall over because you're moving the center of mass up, but you're not moving it over. But with the leaning tower, when you build up one more story, you're not only pulling the center of mass up, you're pulling it to the side. And here's the key idea. As soon as the center of mass gets beyond the foundation, it goes unstable. Okay? So that's the first big key idea. Now, you've probably heard about the... Uh, Suzuki Samurai, do you remember that car from years ago? It got recalled, do you remember why? It tipped over. You know, it'd be going around a corner and it'd just fall over. And some people didn't like that in a car. <laughs> you know? And the problem is they built it up too high. They built it up, it was very sporty and it had a very high center of mass. And so when it was going around a bank turn, you could get that center of mass out over the wheelbase and it just fall over and things, things. Anyway, um, another example is the, uh, uh, the tourist bus buses in London. You know, they've got the double-decker and the triple-decker buses, and they fill those up with American tourists, which are heavy. And uh, that brings the center of mass up high. Now, to, to make those more stable, they, they actually put large plates of lead uh, along the bottom of those buses to lower the center of mass so they are more stable. Now here's a way to actually make money with this idea. If you go to a bar with your friends and you keep your wits about you, uh, as it gets closer to closing time and your friends get pretty drunk, uh, bet them any amount of money that they can't put their heels up against the wall and touch their toes. Okay? And if they're drunk enough, they'll make the bet. Okay? Now, as you lean forward, you move your center of mass forward. And as soon as the center of mass gets beyond the toes, you fall over. Your friend can't do it. There's no possible way. The center of mass on a, uh, on a human your age is about an inch and a half behind your belly button. On a human my age, it's like seven inches behind. But, but still, it's behind my belly button. And as I lean forward, that moves it out, and then I tip over. If I'm not against the wall, I can touch my toes. That's no small feat for a man of my shape. Why can I do it out here? The caboose, yeah. <laughs> the caboose goes back and that keeps the center of mass above the, above the uh, feet. Okay. Now, you might have seen these pictures on the interweb. This is someone that uh, went over the side in his car. And they're pulling it out. But the center of mass got out beyond the... <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> So they brought a bigger truck, <laughs> and yes indeed. <laughs>